Oh, hello, it's Matthew Griffin once again, and today I want to talk about Kim Matavina and the power of dance. Kim Matavina is from Jacksonville, Florida, and has been using dance as her form of expressive art for her whole life. She owns the dance company Red Right Return, which resides in Orlando, as a platform for artists to collaborate and support each other in expression. After participating in supporting the protests in Orlando following George Floyd's murder, Matavina knew that she could use dance to express her desire for unity. However, the effects of COVID-19 on society was still very strong, which prevented her from dancing with others. Despite this, she requested fellow dancers to collaborate from their own homes during quarantine, which resulted in a video later posted on their website. This video, though only three minutes long, is quite powerful and shows how well people can express their art despite the terrible circumstances. Madavina shows this through using dance as the focus, its editing, and its accessibility. Despite starting out as a gymnast, Madavina knew from the start that dancing was her passion, which is one of the, one of the reasons why, being uh, its artistry. As a medium for art, dance is one of the oldest and the most universal in history. From celebration to mourning, dance has been used to express any form of emotion, no matter how strong or how subtle it is, and it can always be collaborated with further. As rhetoric, it excels in pathos through its connection with humanity, but it lacks logos and ethos due to its inability to connect uh, illogical arguments. Still, Red Right Return's video uses dance as a mean of connecting others. By allowing its dancers to perform in a very improv style, they are able to sort of connect with their instincts at a very base level. Each dancer has a very different distinct style, rhythm, and mood that lets them express whatever sort of issues that they are feeling at that particular moment. One dancer could be graceful and somber while the other one is like hard, fast, and upright. The diversity of all these different dancers is pretty incredible, and by keeping the time between everybody equal, no one is being really pushed to the wayside. While the message is loose, the use of dance allows these artists to just tell themselves, free themselves and tell whatever kind of story that they want to tell. These dances are also very well complemented by the editing and the backing track. While editing these different submissions, Madavina didn't actually know how to unite them all in a way that makes sense considering the different circumstances that everyone was going through. However, she found what the video needed exactly after discovering a video of Dr. Maya Angelou. The words from the renowned artist and poet convey themes of understanding others because of their innate human nature. Uh, here's a quote. I have to know that the brute, the bigot, and the batterer are children of God. No matter how heinous the crime, if a human being did it, you have to say, I have in me all the components that are in her or in him, end quote. It's pairing with the variation of motion from each of the different dancers pulls in the pathos of the audience, uh, hypnotizing them while still empowering them. Though the events in, that inspired the video were not really addressed, uh, the video still retains in that aura of empowerment by using a great figure for human rights as the backing sounds. What makes this video especially impressive is the fact that it can only happen in today's society because of the technology that we have today. The COVID-19 pandemic in this past year has really shown us how important and beneficial that technology has been to us this past decade, and also just how far it's gone in advancement. Without all these major sites and apps like YouTube, Instagram, uh, Facebook, etc., no one would be able to share these different aspects of life with each other and like keep this uh, conversation going, so to speak. While it does have its share of issues in terms of mental health, social media has given pretty much all artists a platform in order to utilize. Um, and it's because of this, these platforms that videos like these are able to happen and able to communicate as well as they do. I mean, hell, I can imagine myself being sent this video uh, on some odd day and just if I watch it, I would probably feel impressed and inspired for the rest of the day. And I think that's, if that's what Madavina's uh, goal was, well, it certainly worked out. In conclusion, Madavina's project was absolutely excellent in empowering through its dance, its material, and its own technology. As an artist myself who used dance to express certain kinds of characters and plots, I'm just impressed by how so many people could collaborate to make an empowering video in what could what is probably one of the worst times in most people's lives. This year has definitely been a challenge to say the least, and everyone had to respond to this challenge in some way. However, Madavina's response was probably one of the most positive, moving, and empowering that I've seen in a long time. Thank you all, and I'll see you all for one more video.